The magnetic lasso tool automatically, or if you like semi-automatically, detects outlines of objects as you trace round them. Once you've created the outline, or region as we call it, you can cut it, copy it, paste it, apply an effect or enhance it. It's really that versatile. First select the magnetic lasso tool here on the photo regions and masks flyout, and then start tracing directly onto your photo. You can do this in a couple of ways. Click and drag around the edge. Start on the edge you want to follow. As you drag around the item you'll see the dotted outline snapping to any nearby edge. You can press Shift to erase back along the path if things go wrong. Additionally, pressing the spacebar will anchor a point at the current position. The other way is to click on the edge and then sequentially click around the object. The lasso will automatically trace the outline. If at any point the line misses the edge you wanted to follow, hit backspace or undo to undo to the last click point. Then zoom in and click closer to the last point on the edge you want the trace to follow. You will need to move in smaller steps along any parts of the edge that are less clearly defined, but where the edge is clear against the background, you can move along the edge in much bigger steps. For both methods, pressing the ALT key while clicking or dragging will draw a straight line section, and if you hit T on the keyboard, it will toggle the magnetic snap off or on. With no magnetic snap, then dragging is exactly like drawing with the freehand tool, and if you click with snapping turned off, it will just add a straight line to the current point. If you want the outline to follow the straight outside edge of the photo, just click outside the photo edge. Once you get back to where you started from, click on the start point again to complete the closed outline. The mouse pointer will change to show a plus sign when you are over the start point. So now you have a complete outline, you can cut, copy and paste, or delete the selected part of the photo. Or you can switch into the Photo tool to enhance the selected region. Once you have cut out an object, you can usually improve the edges by applying a small amount of feather using the feather control on the top bar. A couple of pixels at most should do the trick. It's worth bearing in mind that the magnetic lasso works best where you've got a clearly defined edge, so it's not going to work well with fur or hair or other very fiddly outlines. For that you're going to be better off using the background erase feature, so go and have a look at the background erase movie for more info if you think that's going to suit your needs better.